Hello, my name is Mr. Fontenot, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Mr. Fontenot 1111. Please like, share, and for my latest content, subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment if you enjoy this video, you have anything else you'd like to share. In the video description below, I'm going to be leaving some links to another video that goes into greater depth and an overview and a further explanation of the span math formula that I am using or formulas I am using in this video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be going over span math homework number three. The calculator I'm using is the Casio FX115 ES Plus, the first generation. I'm going to be using this information here to solve these equations. Transmitter voltage of 24 volts DC, 1 to 5 volts DC range. Our standard instrument pressure is going to be 3 to 15 PSI. So anytime we see PSI, the standard range is 3 to 15. That's what we will refer to. When we're looking for a milliamp, we're going to refer to the 4 to 20 milliamp range. If you don't have this information, you may want to pause the, the video now and write this stuff down. If we're given a percentage, we'll use formula number one. And if we're looking for a percentage or any other values, we'll use formula number two. All right, so <clears throat> let's look at number one here. And I went ahead and submitted the video. I'm sorry, went ahead and submitted the assignment without putting any answers in. And we're going to go back here and fill in the blanks, or I'm going to show you how to get the correct answer that is shown down here. Okay, question number one. What percentage of the standard PSI operating range would a 9.45 PSI measurement equal? So we're going to open parentheses, as you see over here on the right on my calculator. I'm opening the parentheses. Hitting the over under button, you see it highlighted in blue there. And I'm going to put in, if I look at my formula, I'm going to be using formula number two. So PV1 is going to be the first number I put in. And everything to the left of the multiplication sign is what I'm given. Everything to the right of the multiplication sign is what I'm looking for. And you'll see this. Uh, equation, you'll see this formula displayed in my calculator. It's a natural display calculator, so you can type the numbers in exactly as they appear on paper. So to the left is what I'm given, to the right is what I'm looking for. So I hit my parentheses, I hit over under what percentage, so I'm looking for a percentage. That will go to the right of my multiplication sign of the standard PSI operating range with a 9.45 PSI measurement equal. So the first number I'm going to put in is 9.45, that's my PV1, minus the standard PSI range is 3 to 15 PSI. So I'm going to put in a 3 because your lower range value number one goes there. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to put 15 upper range value number one minus three lower range value number one. Now looking at the calculator I'm going to scroll over. I'm going to close parentheses. I'm going to hit the multiplication sign. I'm going to open parentheses and now I will put in what I am looking for and I'm looking for a percentage. What percentage? So when you're looking for a percentage you go 100 minus 0 close parentheses plus 0 equals 53.75 and uh, let's see what percentage and we're looking for something <clears throat> between 3 to 15 and 9 is about halfway between 3 and 15, so that sounds about right, 
just as a ballpark figure, just thinking about what would 50% be. All right, number two, 9.82 milliamps equals what percentage of the standard milliamp range? And again, I'm looking for a percentage. So this tells me that I'm going to put milliamps on the left-hand side of my multiplication sign. So I'm going to start with that. Open parentheses, hit over under, and it's 9.82. And it says the standard milliamp range, which is 4 to 20 milliamps. So it's going to be 9.82 minus the lower range value, number 1, which is 4, over the upper range value of the milliamp range, which is 4 to 20. So that upper range number is 20 minus the lower range number, which is 4. Scroll over, close parentheses, times, open parentheses. What percentage? Right here, what percentage? So I'm looking for a percentage. So it's going to be 100 minus 0 close parentheses, plus zero, and it gives me an answer of 36.375, and we always round to the second number after the decimal place, so our answer would be 36.38, what you see right here. Number three. 12.75% of the standard milliamp range would equal how many milliamps? So I'm given a percentage here. So I can use formula number two in this case. I'm sorry, formula number one. I can use formula number one in this situation. Percentage times upper range value two minus lower range value two plus lower range value two. So I can use the percentage times what I'm looking for. Percentage times what I'm looking for. So in order to put a percentage in your calculator, you have to put the decimal place first. Point one two seven five. That equals 12.75%. Times, open parentheses, what am I looking for? Milliamps. Standard milliamp range is 4 to 20. So you put 20, upper range value 2, minus lower range value 2, which is 4, close parentheses, plus 4. And what is 12% of 4 to 20 milliamps? I know that 12 milliamps is 50%. I have that memorized. I know that 12 milliamps is 50%. So I'm definitely expecting it to be less than 12 milliamps. And it's 6 milliamps. 6.04. Sounds right. All right, number four, 12.09 milliamps equals what percentage of the standard milliamp range? So looking for percentage, what's a percentage? What percentage? So that tells me I'm going to put milliamps in first. Milliamps will go to the left of my multiplication sign. I'm not given a percentage, so I can't use formula number one. I must use formula number two. So that is open parentheses over under. Twelve point oh nine. minus 4 over 20 minus 4 scroll over close parentheses times open it I'm looking for a percentage so I would do a hundred minus 0 close parentheses plus 0 equals 50.563, which is 50.56. Let me put the formula on here so we can see it. Number five. Okay, number five. What percentage of the standard PSI operating range would a 9.51 PSI measurement equal? So again, we're looking for percentage, 
We're not given a percentage. We're looking for a percentage. So we have to use formula number two, as you see down below here at the bottom of the screen. So we're going to open parentheses, hit over under. And my PV1 is going to be the 9.51. Minus lower range value number one. Dealing with PSI, so it's 3 to 15, so it would be 3 over 15 minus 3. Scroll over, close it, times, open it. Looking for percentage, it's 100 minus 0. Close it, plus 0 equals 54.25%. As you see right here, the correct answer. 54.25. All right, let's move on to number six. Question number six. 16.47 milliamps equals what percentage of the standard milliamp range? Well, it's getting pretty close to 20. The range is 4 to 20, and I'm getting pretty close to 20. That probably is about 77%. So let me run my numbers and let's see. We're going to do 16.47 minus 4 over 20 minus 4. Close times open looking for a percentage 100 minus 0. plus zero equals 77.938. And since we have an eight in the third place, we're going to round up the second place. So it's 77.94. Here's our answer, 77.94. Number seven, 4.22 milliamps equals what percentage? Again, looking for percentage. Open parentheses over under 4.22 minus 4. So I know it's going to be a very low percentage because I'm almost at the bottom of, this, of the span. 20 minus 4. Scroll over, close parentheses, times open. Looking for a percentage. What percentage? The question asks, what percentage? 100 minus 0 plus 0 equals 1.38%. 1.37 here. I must have put the answer in wrong when I wrote the assignment, but it will. It has a margin of error of 0 0.01, so it would allow that to be correct. I should have put 1.38 in there. All right, number 8. 19.73 milliamps equals what percentage of the standard milliamp range? Again, looking for percentage. And I can't use formula one because I'm not given a percentage. I have to use formula two. Open parentheses over under. I'm going to put in 19.73 minus the lower range value of milliamps, which is four. So this is going to be a very high percentage because I'm at 19. I can only go up to 20. 20 would be 100%, so I know it's going to be a very high percentage. 20 minus 4. Close parentheses times. Open parentheses. Looking for a percentage. 100 minus 0 plus 0 equals 98.31. There we go. Like I said, almost 100. I can tell just by looking at how high the milliamps are. All right, number nine, 6.95 PSI. That's 3 to 15. Okay. So open parentheses over under 6.95. I'm given that. Standard PSI range is 3 over 15 minus 3. Scroll over, close parentheses, times, open. And what do we got here? What percentage? 100 
minus zero plus zero gives me 32.92. I rounded the second number after the decimal place. Percent. All right, number 10. Ooh, I'm given a percentage. Yay, I can use formula number one. It's a lot easier. So 81.33%, so that's going to be 0 0.8133 times open. What am I looking for? Standard PSI range. Well, that's 3 to 15, so you put in 15 first. See right here, upper range value 2. Down here on the formula where I'm moving my mouse pointer, formula number 2. Upper range value 2 is 15. Lower range value 2 is 3. Close parentheses. Plus my lower range value number 2, which is 3. 3 to 15. I'm looking for a PSI. Let me make sure. Looking for PSI. Put PSI in there. 81.33. So that's 0.8133. Got all that right. All right. 12.76 PSI would be 81% of the standard PSI range. 50% of the standard PSI range, let's see, you take upper range, which is 15, plus lower range, which is 3. 15 plus 3 is 18, divided by 2 gives you 9. 9 is the 50% of the PSI range. So 80% would be about 12. All right, cool. Okay, so that is the end of Spam Math homework number three. As I said, please like, subscribe, and share to my page. And if you need a further explanation of the formulas used, I will leave a link in the video description below. Thank you.